Hi, my friends. Welcome to another Whip and Chat. Um, this is Diamond Painting with Coco. Coco is my chihuahua if you're new here. And my name is Ramy. And Whip just simply stands for uh, work in progress. Um, and chat means I'm going to be chatting. You can listen to me while you are diamond painting or having some coffee. Maybe you're doing some chores or driving in your car. Um, just sit back and relax and let me um, do the talking, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I talk about good things. Um, at the end of my whip and chats, I always do questions. So we will be doing that. Um, the questions today are going to be from subscribers. So... Um, that's kind of exciting. Um, so today I'm using this pen. It's got um, seashells in it and some blue glitter. I've got a four placer that I'm using pink wax in and a single placer that has, uh, what did I put in here? Glue dots. Um, I'm using this large tray, the long spout. So I really like this tray a lot. Um, it's, it's a really nice tray. Yeah. So, and I am working, I'm just going to start here and I'm not going to do too long of a lit today. I have somewhere I need to be, but I was sitting here diamond painting and I thought, why not do a whip? It is Monday and I tend to do my whips on Mondays. Um, and I did promise in another video that I would be doing my whip on Monday um, and to have your questions in by Monday so that I could ask them during this whip. So I will be up, uh, uploading this as soon as I'm done. Today is March 11th, so you will be seeing this on March 11th. Um, I am working on Lady of the Lake. This is her hand, obviously. Um, it's the hand that is down below the sword that she is holding. So um, I'll give a review when I'm done. I'm almost done with her. I have this square, or I have her hand and one more square. So I will be done with her by today, um, which is very exciting. Um, then I get to kit her down and, um, uh, kit up my, or I already did kit up my next, um, painting. I think I posted that, didn't I? Yeah, I posted that. Yeah, I kitted up my next, um, painting. It's the cherry blossom trees. Got confused for a minute. Because um, there's another painting that I will be doing, uh, kitting up as well, um, that's a larger painting. The, um, do you guys see any more use? I don't see any more. Um, there's another painting that I'm um, going to be kitting up that's a little bit larger of a painting because this cherry blossom painting is kind of small, although... Let's see, where do you go? It is very confetti heavy. There is my squeaky chair. If you're new, I have a squeaky chair. <laughs> my birthday is coming up here in a couple of months, and so I'm going to be asking for a gaming chair. Oops, I left one of these in here. No, no. Now you're going to go in my trash jar. So we're going to do the letter T. So how are you guys doing today? What are you guys working on? Are you guys having a, a good Monday? I know Mondays can be hard. Ugh, coming off the weekend and you know, Mondays are Mondays are kind of rough. I get I don't know, do you guys get anxious on Sunday nights? I have always had this anxiety issue um, where come Sunday night, I am so anxious just about, sorry that I'm kind of moving you guys. You guys are on my 
table and I'm kind of a hard placer. I place kind of hard. Um, yeah, I get really anxious on Sunday nights. Because uh, I think I know what's coming. And of course, it doesn't help right this time of year, right? Because we have, we had daylight savings. Boy, did that throw me off. Oh my gosh. Luckily, this morning I woke up at a decent time. But, um, and normally I wouldn't have woken up as early as I did, which is weird because the opposite happened to me. Um, you know, where normally you would wake up late because it's daylight savings. I don't like daylight savings. I really don't know why we still have it. I know Arizona doesn't do daylight savings. They're the only state that doesn't do that. So I don't even know how that works. Like, so half the year Arizona is in a different time, is, is a different time than we are, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I think it's... I think it's Arizona, isn't it? Is it Nevada? No, I think it's Arizona. I don't know. They don't, they don't celebrate, celebrate. They do not do daylight savings. It is not a celebration at all. No, no, no. I don't, uh, I don't like it. It throws me off. The only thing I will say is last night or last, you know, in the evening, it was nice because it was like light and it was like 640 and it was still light outside. So that was, that was really nice. It does make that part of the day nicer, but yeah. Well, we've been having some rain here typical of uh, Washington State. We've been having some rain. Yucky, yucky, yucky rain. Um, and it hasn't really been that cold. It's kind of been in the 40s at night. Uh, upper 30s, lower 40s at night. Um, however, so today is Monday. Starting apparently on Thursday, supposedly, right as of right now, this could change. Um, starting Thursday, it's supposed to be sunny. And by the time Saturday hits, it's supposed to be 68 degrees. 68 degrees. That's just crazy. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy that it's going to be sunny. Um, because I need to get out and mow the, I'm the one that mows the yard around here. We have a writing lot more. I, I do the, the mowing because I like the grass to be perfectly straight. <laughs> like I want our lawn to have perfectly straight lines when it's mowed. And so it took me a few times of when we first moved here of trying to figure out how to do that, but I've got it down. We've been here for years, so I like to have it mowed and like really straight. Are you guys like that? I don't know. It's, it's my OCD in me. It's like, I, I have to have it in straight lines. And my son, when he was a little bit younger, I mean, he was like, you know, 15, 16. He wanted to, you know, use the riding lawnmower, of course. And so I was like, okay. And um, I was trying to teach him how to mow it in a straight line. You know, make sure you, make sure it goes in a straight, like here's what you have to do. And cause the way I mow, so I'll, I'll go one direction, but I can't mow on the way back. <laughs> I have a really specific, I don't have, we don't have a bag on our mower. So I want all of the grass to go in one direction when I'm mowing. All of the excess grass that's getting kicked out from the, from the mower. So I will mow one direction and then I come back and then I mow the, that direction again. And then I come back without mowing. So I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, 
it'll be the first time this year that I will be mowing and I think we're right on track for that. I try to remember, um, or sorry, I'm trying to remember when the first time I mowed last year, it was probably right around this time. And I gotta get rid of all of the molehills that are out in our yard first because um, we've got some big molehills out there and they they like to um well they don't like to but when they are pushing up the dirt they push up a lot of rocks sometimes um and you don't want to hit that with the mower so I will go out there before I mow and just kind of walk around the yard and either tamper them down or spread them around with my boots or um if I have any place in like our backyard or um, anywhere else where there's like a divot or something like that, I'll just take that dirt and use it for that, fill it in. Actually, I think I'm gonna use some in the backyard because um, there is a spot that's kind of low and it's where Coco, Coco lays down in the summer. She's got like this little divoted area in the backyard where she lays all the time. You wouldn't think a small dog would make a divot in the yard, but she did. Okay, I think we're done with the teas. I don't see any more, so let's... Oh, you guys can't see over here. I forgot that there's a couple S's and P's over here. That's what we're gonna do next. Okay, so should we do an S or a P? Let's do, which one did I find? Oh, I found the S first, okay. This is five, or 453, the color. Um, I will say they did a good job on this painting with her skin tone. Her skin tone is right on the money, I think. I think it is. Um, I wasn't worried about it, but you know, she doesn't have a ton of skin showing Lady of the Lake. She, it's her face, her neck, her hands, really not much else is showing, but what is showing, they did a good job. Sorry about my voice. I don't know what the heck is going on with my voice. <laughs> Every time I try to do like a video, my voice starts to be all weird. Don't know why. Oh, there's a lot of S's. So yeah, I'm gonna get out, mow the yard. I have about an acre of yard to mow. Um, I hate going around our fruit trees. That's the only part of the yard that I can't stand is going around our fruit trees. I have my husband go out and weed eat around them. Oops, where you are not supposed to be in this batch. Um, I have him weed eat around the fruit trees, so it's a little bit easier. But um, yeah, so our driveway, this is something else that needs to be fixed or done soon. And I'm wondering if we should just do it this weekend since it's supposed to be nice. But our driveway has um, developed two really large potholes at the very, very end of our driveway. I mean, they're like, they're big, like you have to drive around them. And so yesterday, my husband went out there and he spent some time trying to fill them in because, you know, gravel gets pushed to the side and that's what was going on it was getting pushed over to the side and then um uh, oh i i don't know i don't know how potholes are created but um so he got them filled in but we're thinking now that we want to get a load of gravel we got a i would i think we got a load of gravel two years ago it was either two years ago or three years ago. And I think it's just time to get another load of gravel. 
So, because we have our driveway and then we have a parking area as well. Besides the driveway, we have a like a side parking area. So when people come over, they can park their cars over there. Um, and I was kind of thinking about doing that too. I haven't done that before, that part of the, the driveway, but I'm thinking I'm going to. And last time I had to order eight yards of gravel and it was just enough. Like it was just the perfect amount of gravel. So I think this time I'll do 10 yards. Um, I don't know how to measure for this stuff. I, I literally guessed last time, but um, I think I'll do 10 because I wanna do that side part of the driveway and get that part done too. It would just be so much easier. What else do we do this weekend? Besides my husband doing the, the driveway. Well, we prepped some meals for this week. We prepped enough for three days for the both of us. I made my vegan meatloaf and it's a deconstructed meatloaf. So if you guys want the recipe, I'm just gonna tell you cause it's super easy. Anybody can make it and it's so good and it's so good for you. Um, I just, in the Instant Pot, I put onions, carrots, and celery, and red bell peppers, and I just kind of caramelized them. And then I, I, so I put it on saute, obviously. And then I add some garlic. And then I add one and a half cups of, oh, then I take it off saute, sorry, take it off saute. I add one and a half cups of lentils. You can use brown, you can use red. It's it's up to you, it doesn't matter. One and a half cup of lentils, four cups of vegetable broth, and toss it in for 25 minutes. And when that is done cooking, open it up, add in some cayenne, some smoked paprika, Italian seasoning, whatever seasoning you like. I like cayenne and stuff. I know a lot of people are like, oof, too hot. Um, but as you guys know, I like spicy food. So let's see, I need to get up here with this S way over here. I need to lift this tape up here. I'm just using electrical tape. I ran out of my, the washi tape that I had for this painting. So this is, just, this is just electrical tape. You can barely see the side, but it's just electrical tape. Um, so yeah, you add your seasoning, then you add one and a half cups of um, breadcrumbs. And oh, you guys aren't gonna like this part, but maybe you could just add a regular egg. I don't know. I use a flax egg, which is flax seed that is ground up mixed with some water and it makes it what we call a flax egg. Um, and then it's pretty much done. And then the, the sauce that goes with that is just ketchup, mustard, and brown sugar. That's the topper. And then I made some mashed potatoes. So with my mashed potatoes, I have to use coconut cream, which is so good, and margarine instead of butter and heavy cream. So you just, then you just take the lentil mix, put it down, put down some of the sauce, the ketchup sauce, um, put some mashed potatoes on top of it. Oh, and my husband made a gravy. Darn it, I forgot to ask him what was in it. I know there's mushrooms in it. Oh shoot, I forgot to ask him. But anyway, then you put a little bit of gravy over the top. So we made enough for that, that, that made enough for two people for three days. Yep. It's crazy. And it's so inexpensive. Lentils are so inexpensive. With the prices of groceries today, I mean, look, if you're looking for a cheap, inexpensive meal that's very delicious, hearty, and 
healthy, try it. Try it out. It's really good. You may like it. I know a lot of people don't like beans and stuff like that, so it is what it is. I had to, when I became vegan, I had to modify all of my recipes and it took me like two years to figure out what to do. I did not know what to do. I felt like an idiot. I was looking up all kinds of recipes and I'm like, ew. Because, you know, 50 years of eating one way and then you change the way you're eating, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do at all. But yeah, so we prepped, we prepped some meals. And what else? We really didn't do anything. I did a bunch of laundry. I got three loads of laundry that needed to be folded, put away. I have another load that's in the washing machine that I need to start. But I was so proud of the fact that I put all the laundry away. I was like, nope, I'm not starting it yet. <laughs> I'm giving myself one more day. It's nothing important. Oh, and I washed our sheets. And so I was, oh, my watch is telling me to stand up. No, I can't. Um... I washed our sheets and stuff, and I had the dreaded fitted sheet. Trying to fold those things is like magic. Like you need to be, I remember one time years ago, I saw Mar. I, I used to watch Martha Stewart. Did you guys used to watch her? And she was showing how to fold a fitted sheet. And I literally felt like I was watching somebody doing origami. Like I was like, what are you doing? I would have had to have watched that video probably 10 times just to grasp the concept of how to fold a fitted sheet. I feel like when I fold mine, quote unquote fold mine, it ends up just being like this ball of like half folded, half sticking out. And I'm just like, Ugh, just forget it. Nobody's going to see it anyway besides us. Are you guys like that? <laughs> or do you know how to fold a fitted sheet? Tell me I'm not the only one, please. Yeah, I can't fold a fitted sheet. So that just kind of went in the linen closet like a, it was quote unquote folded, but not uh, very nicely. Okay, we're gonna move on to the letter. I'm having to reach over you guys. Sorry. So let's see. Letter P. Here it is. Ooh. Don't have much of this left. Okay. Well, I know everybody's probably heard by now that Craftably is closing. And I'm going to be completely transparent. I knew about craft, Craftably, but I had never purchased, purchased anything from them before. Um, I kind of have been sticking with what I know, which probably isn't good. I probably should branch out to other, you know, diamond painting companies. Because right now it's pretty much like, I'm like, Diamond Art Club, Diamond Art Club, Diamond Art Club, Diamond Art Club. Um, or Diamond Dots or Art Dot, but, but those are the three. Um, so yeah, I heard that Craftably was closing and I saw it on all these different channels and people were talking about it and they were really sad about it. And I was like, you know, they were talking about the owners and how wonderful they are. And it just kind of, it touched me. And last night I saw yet another video and I'm like, that's it. I'm going to their website. So I went to their website and um, they still have paintings for sale. Um, and I chose a painting. There was only six left and I picked one out and I purchased it. And I was like, man, they have nice, like, 
they had nice paintings and I wish that I would have kind of, I'm learning about all these different companies, but I wish I would have purchased from them before instead of just staying in my comfort zone. I need to get out of that habit. Um, one of my goals is to purchase something from Bella Art. Um, I guess for me, I just worry about new companies as far as like, this is going to sound dumb to a lot of you guys, but like, I worry about like my credit card information getting stolen or something like that. And I know that it wouldn't, but that's my whole like kind of hesitation. But yeah, my goal is to buy one from Bella Art. Um, the other one is Oraloa. I've heard a lot about Oraloa. Um, people just praise their dime, uh, their diamonds and say that they're really good. So I'm thinking about doing that too. Um, yeah, this year is going to be my year to branch out diamond painting wise um, and using other companies because I don't, you know, I kind of, I remember like, I was telling my husband this speaking of craftably so and I know that there's been a lot of small diamond painting companies that have gone out of business and I remember before do you guys know what Barnes and Noble is the bookstore so I remember before Barn Barnes and Noble and I remember how cool it was to be able to go to these small bookstores the smell of the bookstores you know the the book smell and you know, being able to talk to a person who really knew the store well and they would recommend books or, you know, it was just, it was like a, a personal experience and Barnes and Nobles came out. Is it Barnes and Noble or Barnes and Noble? Barnes and Noble came out and you just saw this decline. Well, basically devastation was what it was of all of these small bookstores, they all started closing. They couldn't compete. And I don't want that to happen. Look at this S that I missed right in the center of all of this. <laughs> right there, right there is the letter S. Um, but I don't want that to happen to any more companies. Now, I don't know how big Oraloa is or how big Bella Art is. Um, I would have to do more research into that, but I don't want these companies to be, you know, trampled over by larger companies, if you know what I'm saying. Um, because that can easily happen and then we won't have, you know, a choice of different art pieces and just the beautiful drills that they send, you know, so yeah, I definitely want to start supporting other companies. Um, so yeah, that's my goal for this year. It's a good goal to have. So when I go to purchase something, I will definitely be going to, I'm not saying that I will for sure buy something. I'm, I'm only going to buy something if it speaks to me, but, um, but yeah, I want to I want to participate in that and be part of the solution. So yeah, just one of my goals. So I'm looking forward to doing this cherry blossom painting, you guys. It is so confetti heavy. Uh let's see. Usually I do whip and chats on Mondays, so I will definitely be working on it next Monday still. <laughs> I'm really sure um, cause I'm finishing this today and then I'm starting the cherry blossom. So unless I can get it done in a week, which I don't know, it could be possible. It's not very big, but I will definitely do, if I'm still working on it, I'll do a whip and chat when I'm doing that. So you guys can see the confetti. It's a beautiful piece. It's so colorful. If you haven't seen that, um, kitty nut video, it's, it's so colorful. There's, there's just so many, well, to me, because I'm used to very dull colors. 
very dull colors. Well, I said I was going to keep this shorter. Um, I kind of need to, I'm sorry. So, oh, wait, before I, I wanted to ask you guys, are you guys doing an event? There's so many, I cannot watch a single, um, diamond painting video without somebody talking about an event. Are you guys doing an event? And if so, which one are you doing? I'm not, I'm not doing one, but, um, like I know, um, Daphne from Diamond Painting Anonymous is getting ready to do her DB pets. I think there's Mermaids and Magic. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, hold on. I need to look at this real quick. We can do the star or the letter M. You know what? This S is bothering let me. Let me fix this S real quick. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of different. And there's a couple, there's three over here you guys can't see, but they're driving me nuts. Um, and I guess Daphne does another one in November, I believe. She does one for veterans. Is that correct? Something like that. But yeah, it just sounds like there's a lot of events going on right now. It sounds like a lot of fun. Maybe, maybe one day, maybe one day I will participate in one, but um, I don't have Facebook, so... That might be a problem because I think most of these you have to have Facebook, but I could just do it along and not actually enter myself into it, I suppose. And just, I don't know how I would find out the information though. Are some of them on Instagram? Do some of them post on Instagram? Cause I do have an Instagram, so maybe I could do it that way. I don't know. I don't know. It just sounds like a lot of fun to me, though. Yeah, so I was just wondering if any of you guys are are doing an event or, like, you know, something like that. But, okay, I'm going to get to the questions from my subscribers. So I'm going to be straight up with you guys. I only got one person asked me three questions. So I do have three questions. Um, I'm a small channel, so I don't get a lot of interaction. I do get interaction, but I don't get a lot of it. So, so yeah, I thought the questions were really cute. Um, I'm not going to say who they're from in case they don't want me to, to mention their name. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave their name out, but they know who they are. Um, so the first question was, what is my favorite breakfast food? Now, doesn't that seem like it, an easy question? Like if you guys had to pick yours, what would be your favorite breakfast food? Kind of have to think about it for a minute, don't you? So mine is caramelized onions and potatoes with bl wild blueberry pancakes. Yes, major carb, major carbs, major. Um, but if I was going to indulge, which is, which is what I would be doing because it would be my favorite, that is exactly what I would have. I absolutely love caramelized onions and potatoes, and I love pancakes, but they have to have the wild blueberries in them. Wild blueberries are just, they're smaller, and I swear they taste so much better than regular blueberries. They're more expensive, but they taste so much better, and you don't use very much, so it lasts you a really long time. What about you guys? What's your favorite breakfast food? Bacon and eggs, omelets, there's so many things. Cereal, some people just like cereal. I almost said overnight oats because I really honestly do love overnight oats. But I don't do overnight oats. I just put raw oatmeal in a bowl and put milk over it with whatever fruit I'm going to have. And I put some chia seeds in there and... Um, a little bit of maple syrup 
and um, yeah, eat it like that. It's so good. Really, really good. I tend to, so I don't get my protein through my breakfast, obviously, because um, I'm, I'm not having eggs. I'm not having any type of meat or anything like that, but I do get my protein throughout, throughout the day. So yeah, that's my, if I had to pick, that would be my favorite. Caramelized onions and potatoes with wild blueberry pancakes. And I'm indulging. That's an indulging breakfast. So, okay. <laughs> this person is not going to like the answer to this next question that she asked me, but that's okay. I have to answer honestly. So what is my favorite color? Hmm. Hmm. If you guys had to guess, if you've been here for a while on my channel and, and you had to guess what my favorite color is, what do you think it would be? My favorite color is black. Yep, it's black. Black's my favorite color. I have probably... Mm, this is not an exaggeration either. 20 sweatshirts that are black. Um, I love black. I used to dye my hair so I'm blonde. And I used to dye the under part of the back of my hair black. So like underneath my hair it was like black. But I love black. However, I know you want a different answer. So I thought of my second favorite question color because you're saying black's not a color I can hear you black's not a color okay so my second favorite color is green I have green eyes I just love the color green I love the color green I used to have a green couch Ugh, that was not a good choice but I did used to have a green couch so green's my favorite color what's your guys's favorite color Pink, teal. I know a lot of pink and teals. I think that's this person's favorite colors, but I could be wrong. What's your favorite color? So many colors to choose from. Some people can just like answer that question really quickly. And other people, it's like, geez, I like so many colors. Yeah, but if I'm going to be honest, that's that's my honest answer. My honest answer is black. It, li it literally is my favorite color. Literally. My car is black. Uh, I, I could just go on and on about all the things that I have that are black. In fact, I have a funny story about that. I was um, asked to come and do a... Um, presentation to some teachers at this local school years ago this was years ago when I was a teacher and um my girlfriend she actually worked at this school and she was going to be one of the people that I was doing the presentation for so I was like hey I kind of really want to go out and go shopping and get something you know new to wear and we went out and I'm shopping and I'm finding stuff that I like. I'm finding a lot of stuff that I like and I'm trying things on and I'm going on. And she finally, she sighs. She's like, Ramy. And I'm like, what? And she goes, do you realize the only colors you're picking out are black and gray? Those are the only two colors you have picked out. And I'm like, well, what's wrong with that? And she's like, no, 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 no. You need some color. You need some color. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about that. She's like, nope, you're going to do color for this presentation. And she's like, okay. She's, and she's like, she's trying to find me something. So she found me this cranberry colored shirt. It was a really cute shirt. It's a V-neck and it's short sleeve and it's very cranberry color. And she's like, this is, this is what you need to wear. And I remember standing in front of the mirror and being like, mm, uh, 
I need to trust my friend, <laughs> but I am so uncomfortable right now. And I did, I wore it. I did wear black. <laughs> black pants and black shoes. But hey, I had that cranberry shirt on. Let me tell you. I think I had a cardigan over the top of it too. What color was a cardigan? Oh, it was white. It was, or no, it was cream colored. Okay. All right. Good. It wasn't black. Yeah, it was a cream colored, um, not cardigan, but uh, kind of like a, I don't know, it just goes over it and kind of drapes down. Really cute. So yeah, so I don't have very, if you look in my closet, it's like, I don't even have to color match my stuff. I don't have to like do it and do my um, shirts in order of color anymore because it's just basically black. There's some other colors in there. But the majority of it's black. Yeah. I do have sweatshirts that are gray. <laughs> oh, and blue. I have I have blue sweatshirts. I have gray sweatshirts. Um, I have a cream colored sweatshirt. But yeah, if I had to pick, it would be black. Okay. Um, oh, okay, yeah. What type of diamond painting video do I like? I like, there's two that I like, or that I prefer. Like if I had to absolutely pick. Um, whip and Chats. I love Whip and Chats because I like to hear about what's going on in people's lives. But I also like Whip and Chats because usually they're long videos or longer videos and when I'm diamond painting I like to have a video on oh my gosh I'm almost out of this color um I like to have a video on that's a little bit longer so I don't have to keep changing videos are you guys like that and, and tr like changing videos and trying to find another video and it just takes like you know, it takes a couple minutes to do that. And it's like, I don't want to stop diamond painting to like go through, try to find another one. So I do, I like whipping chats because they're long, but I really do like kidding up videos. And it's funny because the reason why I like kidding up videos is because of the organizational part of it. Like I like how organized it is. Um, you know, putting everything in order, um, no matter how you kid up, if it's letters, numbers, whatever. Um, but I like the organizational part of it, but I don't watch them because I'm diamond painting. So I will look up from time to time if it's a kidding up video. Um, I don't, I, it's really weird because I, I like kidding up videos. Um, and I'm going to say that I like them better than I like kidding down videos. And I'm trying to figure out why. Um, oh, I like kidding down videos too, I guess. But if I had my choice, I would do, I would, I think, you know what it is? I think with kidding up videos, it's like you see the painting and it's kind of exciting because it's like, ooh, you know, this is going to be really cool. It's kind of the excitement of a new painting. So, oop, sorry. Yeah, it's kind of the excitement of, you know, there's a new painting happening and it's kind of exciting, whereas kidding down, it's like you've already done the painting. And and actually, if I had to think about it, my kidding down videos do not get as many views as my kidding up videos do. So maybe a lot of people feel the same. Did you, are you guys like that? Do you like kidding up better than kidding down? What's your guys' favorite kind of uh, diamond painting video? What's your favorite one? Those are mine. Look at this. AB is so pretty. And we are 
done, you guys. Look at this. And I am just right on time. So that worked out perfect. And there's her hand. One of her hands. I'm not sure what the... Oh, these are some... Um, she's got lily, lily pads. She's in, a, she's in water. So, yeah. Okay, my friends. Well, thank you so much for joining me for today. For today's Whip and Chat. I think I said everything I needed to say. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I'm probably not. So, and if I am, I will tell you in the next video. So thank you for joining me. Happy diamond painting. And I will speak with you later. Loves.